the only man to ever knock out Chuck Liddell and become the light heavyweight champion of the UFC. The world. Rampage Jackson. Dana White contacted me to do the Ultimate Fighter. I'm like, man, I, I, let me think about it, because you know I ain't never really coached nobody. Then I paused right two seconds. I said, okay, I'm a coach. They're thinking he looks a lot bigger on TV. <laughs> There's 32 guys here. The next 48 hours are going to be the most important 48 hours of your entire life. Because this season, you're going to fight your way onto the show. I think some of them crapped their pants. I smelled it. Man, 16 fights, that's, that's crazy. I'm going to sit back with some popcorn and just, I'm gonna see who the bad is, you know what I'm saying? Did I tell you you can hit me? Sorry. I'm joking. <laughs> Bring on the action. I'm ready. Job, brother. Yes, baby. <laughs> That's my notes for him. Damn. <laughs> No Prince okay. He felt like a ton of bricks. Doce versus Prince, you know, if you blank, man, you missed it. I was very impressed with Doce's uh, his, his punching power, you know what I'm saying? He, his accuracy, he was very accurate with that punch. Hey, thank you, good, good job, man. Good job. Thank you. Working hard for you guys. Man, you, did you smell that guy? This, 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 his smell probably had something to do with that knockout. <laughs> For real. That's probably what it was. <laughs> the funk came in the punch. <laughs> Damn. That's why, I, that's why I'm going to put that by there. For real. <laughs> yeah, you can have that guy. I don't care how hard he punch. How you feel? Fight. Dante went out there and he took the guy down. And he showed an excellent display of strength by picking this guy up, being a smart fighter, taking him to his corner. He boom, put him down with a little force and let the guy know, like, look, I'm the man here. Dante, he had him against the cage where he couldn't even move, and he could more to do. <laughs> I ain't never seen no against the cage Kamora. He, he, he need to um, go ahead and teach me some skills. We're here by submission, Kamora, Dante. Dana matched me up with Dave Roberts, and uh, I kind of noticed he was he was training with, you know, kind of real friendly, real real knowledgeable with Rampage. I know Rampage since I was 15. We wrestled in high school together. Dave, my boy, he, he, he's actually like my brother. For years, we told people we were brothers. They told him, you know, said we had two different dads, and they believed us. So I'd do anything for him. I'll be looking over here. Why are you all looking over here? Mind your business. Just mind your business. <laughs> that is my business. <laughs> David training with Rampage doesn't phase me or bother me at all. I'm ready to fight. Push off, create some space, go back to the center, Jeremy. You got to turn around face him. Grab him, grab him. Fight, grab him, grab him. Grab him, grab him Dave, grab him, grab him. Dave, grab him. Work that, work that, work that. He's passing your arm bar. It's an arm bar. It's an arm bar. Arm bar. Rampage is having a bad day. Dave Roberts and Jeremy May was like the most disappointing fight that night for me. The winner by arm lock submission, Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy May did exactly what he had to do to, to win his fight. He came out and used his, his um, reach advantage. Dave didn't know how to act. Dave didn't know what to do. Good job, homie. Good job. Congratulations, man. 
Mind your, your business. <laughs> Very excited to be here. Um, this is almost a dream come true. It'll be a dream come true when I win the finale, but very, very excited to be here. Who's in the house? I'm in the house. I like making my, my opponent like scream like that. <laughs> uh, he felt that power behind the punches and he, he didn't want no more. Where did he take my boy? I don't know. Uh, to, to the ER. No, don't play with you. Wait, wait, let it simmer for a little bit. Right. That, that's, that's like my best friend. Wait, wait. I, no, I just said. Wasn't nothing personal, just doing my job. It's my job to beat people's faces in and uh, just happen to be your best friend in my way, so. It ain't the end of the world, Dave. This is most definitely more disappointing than a normal loss. Anybody in the sport, this is kind of a dream, a uh, goal to get into the UFC. This, kind of, this was kind of a stepping stone. I definitely think that I let Quinn down somewhat. It's just the fact that uh, the loss and me not being here. I'm very proud of him that he came and did it and he, and, and he did what he had to do, but it, it, was, it, was, it was a very disappointing fight for me because I want him to win the whole show and keep going. Like they do from 300. <laughs> <laughs> Spot on! <laughs> Tonight we dine in hell. You know, this is like the Olympics for fighting, you know? So, me being in the octagon, it's just gonna get me more pumped up, more excited. And I'm gonna have such a big smile on my face. Oh, yeah, he's happy. Look at him. <laughs> You know, you got a lot of pussies that try coming into the house, and personally, I'm not a pussy, and I'm ready. I'm here to fight. Fight. That was your round, Dan. You need one more. Let's do that again. Let's do that same one thing, To your right. Hands up. To your right, buddy. Yeah! It's over. Woo-hoo! That's how I do it. Are you OK? Uh, 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 All right, stop, stop. Let's get your bearings. OK. Uh, Relax. Oh. Relax, Dan. Oh. Dan, you're doing good? You're doing good? You're doing all right? Just all right. Just relax. Oh. Oh. Good. Oh. You're good, you're good. Oh. Thank you, sir. Oh. Fine. Oh. 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 I never seen somebody moan on the ground like that. It took him a long time to come out. And, you know, and I felt really bad because that was like one of the gruesomest knockouts I ever seen. <laughs> Matt got knocked out of the century. First knockout. Right. That was a good fight. Winner by knockout, Matthew Riddle. I ain't never heard nobody get knocked out and make noise like that. I hope dude's okay, man. Yeah. And I went to check up on him, I felt bad. And then he said he don't even know what happened. Rampage. Then I looked at him, he said, he said, Rampage, you know, what, what happened? You know, and I, I, I didn't say anything to him. Is this a real fight of practice? What the what are you hit? Was this a fight or was it practice? What was it? Dan Timner, except for one of the worst knockouts I've seen in a long time. He broke his jaw up a little bit. But the doc said he'd be okay. Hopefully he bounced back and hopefully we see him again in the UFC. Keep in mind, y'all fight us in first. You know, right after teams were picked, man, they call us out, and we're in the ring, kind of having a little meeting with uh, with our coaches, kind of getting to know them for the first time. Does anybody have anything from yesterday, like, like injury-wise, that we need to get looked at and checked out today? Paul, ah, oh, dude, as soon as he walked in that gym, I seen 
nasty ass stuff on his neck. What's on your neck? What the hell is this on your neck? What do you think it is? <laughs> is it is, is cra herpes? Yeah. <laughs> is herpes? Yeah, skin. The things that's on Paul Bradley's neck is some type of cold sore. I've heard of like cold sores coming from people when they when they stress out and stuff like that. We all have had canker sores and cold sores before and stuff like that, but not too many of us had it on our necks. Which made it kind of like weird. What we'll keep it from? What we'll keep it from going around to other folks? What can keep it from going? Well, around? he's got to get medicine. Oh, we might have quarantined his ass. That's good. It's good. Good. My goal is to learn as well as teach. Because who knows, maybe one day when I stop being so lazy, I might want to train people after I retire from fighting or something. So I'm, the, I'm, I'm learning that right now. I'm learning about myself right now. Would I like to be this person? Would I like to be a trainer as well? Because I never train people. Push them off like you're in a prison and he trying to get your booty. <laughs> you don't want that, you know what I'm saying? Think about that. You don't want that. There's a dermatologist here in Las Vegas, Dr. Jason Michaels. I've known this guy my whole life. I trust him, and I, and I want his opinion. Jason Michaels, are you in relation to Sean Michaels? No, 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 no relation there. Uh -huh. I want to make sure that this kid's not contagious if he's in here fighting and wrestling and training with these guys. And you've had it before. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Our shingles generally is one-sided on the face. It's yeah. not really two-sided. So yeah. the fact that it flipped over like that is probably actually not shingles and just yeah. like this herpes simplex. Yeah, virus, yeah. Which, you know, really isn't generally too big of a deal. The truth is, could you transfer it to somebody else? And the answer is possibly. So Dr. Michael said, yes, it's contagious. And yes, he can give it to other fighters. You know, stress basically brings it out. Well, guess what? <laughs> He's going to be pretty stressed out living in a house with 16 guys who could potentially kick his ass. And, and uh, this guy is probably going to be a walking herpy the entire time he's here. Can we can we catch it from training with him? Yeah, you could. I mean, it's certainly a possibility. If someone else contacts it, you know, the truth is they could get it on and off for the rest of their life, really. Yeah, exactly. And so, um, so... I don't want no heebie-jeebies, man. Yeah, you know, that's the problem. Yeah. With it. I got a good idea. we just have you hit the bag and do some running and train on your own until we figure something out. Do you like running? Yeah, I mean... Good, because you said no, still too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Striking zone there. Good, in there. As soon as you get there, already start doing stuff. You know this stuff, guys. It's boring, good, doing the same stuff over and over. No, no. We ain't rolling with him. We ain't doing nothing with him until you get those cooties off his neck. That's the best thing that happens to that guy having the cooties on his neck. Because his hands are not good, and when he throws him, get his feet work and his hands right. In a couple of days, you'll see a difference in his hand. Because well, he got cooties on his neck. Yeah. Everything happens for a reason. For a reason. Come here for a minute. Come here, Paige. We gotta send you home, kid. We can't have you here with, with the, 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 I talked to the doctor. Is really contagious. I, I, but if I'm on pills, it, I, it won't be contagious like after two days. But you can break out with it again. You know what I mean? Yeah, but uh, you get nervous, <laughs> sweating, and training. You can break out with it again. I got, I got, 15 guys, six coaches. You know what I mean? I, I can't risk somebody just, else catching it. Can, can I please like have a day? Like, I know, just kid. Believe me, I've never. Felt so bad about coming over here and telling somebody they had to go. Because usually, when somebody's got to go, they f***ed up or, you know, they did something wrong. You didn't do a thing wrong. Let me tell you, I've, I've kicked you guys something. off the show for a million different Please things. Uh -huh, my girlfriend, I miss her, I love her. You name it, I've kicked a guy off the show for it. Um, this is definitely a new one. I, I, I can't tell you how sorry I am. I just don't, I can't leave. I gave, I gave a plot for this. I can't. I know, man, but I can't. I can't put 
20 other guys at risk. I can't do it. Personally, I can't do it, and legally, I can't do it. I can't do it. All right, we'll give you a minute, all right? We'll wait out here for you. <clears throat> Gave up, like, everything for this Everything happens for a reason. This is kind of a life-changing decision for me, and don't uh, know where I go from here, I guess. Now with Paul Bradley gone, we have to bring somebody back. So I wanted to talk to Rampage and feel him out and see who he wanted to come back. One of the kids from uh, the fought the other day, who do you want to bring back? Aaron Myers. He hurt his knee. Yeah. Uh, Oh, he's hurt? Yeah, he's hurt. Oh. The problem with the way that those fights went down is a lot of those guys got injured. I'll tell you what, you give you you give me um you give me this guy right here. He's still here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like hurting people. Do you like hurting people? Yes. I went to the house before Dolce's fight because I, I know it was pretty boring over there for those guys and for me to go over there and kick it with them, just to get to know them too, you know? And so what are you, Dolce? What's up, coach? Hey, guys, what's up, TV show. What time are you going to bed? Probably about 10 o'clock. About 10 o'clock? Yeah. You go get your own cooking show? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they say you're the best cook in the house. I think I'm probably like, probably one of the coolest people on the planet Earth because I'm nonchalant. I can get along with anybody. I can be friends with, with anybody. Guy, girl, dog, fish, you know what I'm saying? Alien, you know what I'm saying? If they ain't, if they ain't trying to eat me, I can be friends with them. I'm impressed with you guys. Man. But I want you guys to listen to me. On for real, man, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I can't lie, I don't know everything. That's why I got my assistant coach to help me out with, with some stuff because I'm, I'm a fighter still, but I can't teach y'all how to fight smart. I'm not too smart of a guy, but for some reason, when I get an octagon, I'm a genius. Yeah, I like your movement. Don't you, the way you move around, it's gonna be hard to take somebody down that moves that much. And all you all you guys tough. You, man, you so you so tough, man. You got a big, strong chin. We don't we don't know nothing about Pat yet. But Mo, Mo, Mohawk over there, he's a little soldier. We, man, we got all you guys. Are you with Iraq? I was, in the, I was in the Marines and did switch over there, and then uh, I worked for a contracting company doing security over there. What, what do you do, Chipper? You, you, you professional smiler, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I live at home with my mom. I don't, I don't have a driver's license or a job. <laughs> How old are you? 22. Sir. So, what, what, <laughs> what'd you do, Pat? I sold wine for two years. Sold diamonds for two Florida. years. Okay. I just opened up my own school like seven months ago. So you a hustler? Yeah. <laughs> He's a great coach. You know, you see him howling out in the ring and knocking people out and you just think he's gonna be straight badass from the hood and then he starts talking about his kids and and life in general and you know you really want to win for rampage used to be broke for me nah, worse than broke. <laughs> Pat, broke this is a true story man i was so broke i couldn't use underwear i had to wear my oldest brother underwear and he had like leopard skin drawers with, <laughs> with doodle stains in it <laughs> how, how old are you i'm 29. 29. Yeah. Well, how old were you when you started training I was um, I was like 21, 22. Why did you start fighting? I started I started fighting because I, I had just started wrestling when I was 17. I, I was 17 in the ninth grade. Quit making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what. Same reason your dumb ass ain't got no license. <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. I hate all right. Rampage is really cool. You make jokes with Rampage, and he just makes jokes back at you. He doesn't get mad at all. He's just. Straightforward, nice guy, you know? He just likes to fight, which is cool. I just want to come over here, see, see you guys, see you before you fight, make sure, you know what I'm saying, you're doing good, yes, sir. And, you get to, and you get to bed on time. You know, yeah. you know, Forrest didn't come by and check on his guy, so uh, definitely shows that Rampage is here supporting us, and it's a pretty cool thing to do.
Intense, intense. You gotta get more aggressive, son. When he's fucking one thing, something that's open. It's always something open. You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot by having the first loss, you know? I, I learned that, you know, I need to see exactly what my guys are capable of so I can know, you know what I'm saying, what to work with them on before that fight. Because I don't, I don't know these guys from Adam. He, there, there you go. He, get, he gave it to you. You saw that? Did he give it to you? You can pretend you're taking them down. You can defend, take down. Use, use your imagination. Yeah, this MMA shot of boxing, baby. It's, a, it's, a, it's the best sport on, on the planet. I almost didn't even want to do this just because, you know, I never coached anyone. But it's not really about me. It's about them becoming the ultimate fighter. So I'm going to try to do the best I can. I think it's a conspiracy. I bet they took the heat out. While we train, they put the heat back in for Team Browno. We gotta take it out on Team Browno. Everything hard for us. I bet their gloves fit them. Cause they're brown nosers. I, I do want I want to build these guys up. I, I, I want them to know how mental fighting is and that you have to believe in yourself. Last 30 seconds, I want to see everybody doing their damnness. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Let's go. That's how we roll. Last 30 seconds. You do what you gotta do. Last 30 seconds. There you go. Stay down there. Make them pay. Last 30 seconds. We winning this round. We winning this round. We winning this round. We winning this round. There you go. There you go, baby. There you go. Good job, guys. And I believe in these guys, so I'm, I'm not here to just, you know what I'm saying, be a coach and, and, and be still. I'm here to be their friend and let them get to know me and let, and let them know, you know what I'm saying, this is something special to me, too. They have a friend for life. Fights are scored differently by different judges, but the one thing that's consistent, the one universal thing that every judge should be looking for is who does the most damage. And I think in this fight, Brandon did the most damage. Guy stalled on top of him. You gotta punch to win a fight. How did you get a fight to that boy? How did you get a fight to him? He didn't even fight. He didn't fight, so he stalled. He stalled. That's a great, great job. I need to get the hell out of here. I try not to uh, lose my temper. You know, I, I've had it under control for, for many years. I used to go to anger management classes, but they used to make me angry. You know, I was frustrated. He he looked just kind of lackadaisical. Get on your feet, Pat! Get on your damn feet! Come on! Show me the animal, damn it, Pat! Show me the animal! Matt! Animal! I want the animal, damn it! Come on, Matt! Matt! Damn it, Matt! What the f In the end, I guess Matt Brown the best because Jeremy did end up punching himself out. Yeah. Look, he just ran out of gas right there. You know how you you on your way to the gas station, you know, I don't know if y'all know, but you know, come on now, I'm from the hood, and sometimes I had to put $2 in a tank, and then you almost home, and the car just like, you know. I don't know what's wrong with him, he's tired. We should have put more than $2 in that tank. Matt lands a knee that rocks Jeremy, and while he's stumbling around, he lands a beautiful head kick right on the chin. That was really one of the coolest knockouts I've ever seen on The Ultimate Fighter. They keep choosing some interesting matchups. You know, it's been some pretty good fights so far. So hopefully we get the um, ball in our court this time. Rampage is baffled and, and wants to know how is Forrest picking these fights? So how do you think you're really going to choose? Just let them choose. we have been flipping coins. Uh, <laughs> I swear to God. It's the, it's the only fair way to do it, right? Nobody's ever flipped the coin and picked fights. <laughs> He might be the, the luckiest f***ing guy ever. <laughs> Forrest said he, he's flipping coins to pick these fights. Well, no, keep flipping. Well, like, he's just saying that, you know, whatever. It's crazy. He, but I, I, I do have to give him this compliment. He got combonious. It doesn't, it doesn't matter at this point. I don't, know, I don't know how he's picking these fights. 
But they've been some pretty good matchups. It really doesn't matter. They have been. We have they been have been. And they've been winning them. So, been, been I mean, winning. damn, we got to win one soon. We will. Let's, let's concentrate on tomorrow and try to get a win there. Well, I think Rampage, I'm starting to feel the tension between these two now. You know, they're both, you know, funny guys. They like to joke around a lot, but it's starting to get tense now. Rampage is not liking losing. My, my boy should have beat that boy. He should have beat that boy. He should beat the brakes off that boy. You know what I'm saying? He should whoop that boy's ass. He should beat him down like he stole something. He's playing. He's playing. He's, he's playing. Yeah. 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 He went at him. He, he came. He was wild chin up and everything. He got there. He was one time. I was like, oh, no. He was like back and forth. He was like, oh, he was going. The dude was near him. He went near him back. But he was going. He, he threw like one uppercut. Then he stopped. And he was going right here. And he was over there. Then he got taken down at the end of the first round. He didn't move. He just stayed on the guard. Then he, you know, he was in bad position. And, and he was getting oh, the oh. Then the second round, he came out on Friday. Boom, boom. He took the guy down. Best fight I've seen in a long time. My boy. <laughs> Thank you, uh, the locker room was great afterwards. You know, everybody was real supportive. We were laughing. Cha Ching. Yeah. You mad at me about Congratulations, that? Brother. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Awesome fight. You win ten grand. Awesome. Five for Burger King. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Forrest is in there shadow boxing. Like he wants to fight Rampage right now. In the history of the Ultimate Fighter, nobody's ever hurt the gym. Very weird day at the training center. Very weird day. Why, why didn't you go third, third round? 10-9, first round. 10-8, the second round. Oh, the first round was 10-8? Right. I don't know how they judging. I don't know if they fall asleep in a fight and just coming for a paycheck. I don't like, I don't like this, man. I don't know if they fellow brown noses themselves. I don't know. I just don't like their decisions a lot of times. Is that a net gun? That You're scaring right. me. What are you doing, that man? Forrest basically got a net gun. What are you whoa, doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you don't understand it, don't do it. It shoots a big net out, captures whoever you want. I don't know what people use it for, probably in riots and stuff. Don't shoot it at me, man. Watch out, Get man. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron shot uh, the Bob punching bag with it, and uh, I don't know, man, that thing was loud. It sounded like an actual gun or a firecracker was going off. Shoot Rampage oh, with that <laughs> Shoot Rampage and run like a <laughs> We came up with uh, the bright idea to shoot Rampage. Some people think he's going to freak out. Hopefully, he takes it you know, in good spirits and everything like that, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. They're going to fight him anyway. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Beat me up. Oh, I'm going to throw away my head double. Yeah, no. No. Take Rampage and throw a fit. I'm going to go with yes. One, two, and walk in with that left knee. Boom, boom. Sam, elbow. Let's do it. Let's go do it right now. Too far. He netted me. Yeah. This is war! <laughs> <laughs> I dare you! I think Forrest found it very funny, him and his chicken face assistant coach. His ugly ass needs to be the one getting netted. He just net his ass and goes get him, sit on some eggs or something. Because he's ugly as hell. Don't move your right foot at all. <laughs> This guy just netted me. <laughs> am I am I a fish? Do I look like a fish to you? Do I look like a fish to you? Right, you guys suck. Good on that. <laughs> you guys have a good practice there. Do I look like a skate animal from the zoo? Why would you go and net a human being? Oh my God. Man, this is, I'm, from, I'm from the south. This reminds me of something that happened to some of my homeboy. <laughs> Damn, I thought, and I thought his little chicken head friend would have a noose. <laughs> Damn, man, he netted me. In front of everybody, too. The whole world saw me get netted. The whole world saw me get netted on TV. What do you think my family gonna say about that? They gonna make fun of me because I got netted on national TV. You, you, you don't shoot people with nets. Hey, can you cut this off? Why not? Cut, what the hell? I'm one of those rubber things would hit me in my eye. I can't, I can't let him get it away with that. Not me getting netted, no. I got netted on national TV. CB got the most skills in the house, but he got a big ass head. He, you know what I'm saying? He's so full of himself. I'm gonna have to put my, my whole 12 inches a foot up his ass. <laughs> Bar, crank. Uh. <laughs> you got tapped out with a knee bar. That's my favorite submission. <laughs> Come on. Come on. It's on now. It's on now. No, 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 no. Get back, Tipper. He just, he just, no, I can't believe this look. This look punk just Especially with those damn Peruvian neckties. I really need to get a hobby. He really kicked my ass. He, he's pretty good. Rampage style. <laughs> this is not. 
working really hard, so tonight we're going to let the coaches take their guys out. Y'all ready to race some cars? And they're going to go uh, race go-karts tonight. All right, let's race. We've been locked in this house for five weeks now, and we definitely needed an out. Twice as much fun than I thought it would be. Like, those things are fast. <laughs> it's even fun if you suck at it. And I really suck at it. Having a time of my life, I was winning. Going around, hey. almost hit wall, whatever. I looked back, I didn't see nobody. I looked back over there, I saw some out there, and I saw that, ooh, I was big. The team was cheering me on when I got around the corner, like, yeah! And I whooped for his ass at go kart, basically. I loved it. So now it's time to pick the semifinals. Forrest has three guys. Rampage has one. What's up, guys? Yeah. yeah. So I get to the gym, and Forrest is there. Both teams are there, but nobody can find Rampage. Rampage is MIA. It's not me today. Rampage is missing. We're going to start without him. I think we waited for Rampage for 45 minutes. Finally, I said, F it. We're going to do it without him. What happened was, the night before, I couldn't sleep because uh, I was watching TV. And it was good movies on. So I fell asleep, and then I woke up too late. Rampage. I missed the meeting. <coughs> yeah. My first time. You know, black folks are always late. And I hightailed it here. I didn't even brush my teeth. I just came straight here. Breath smelling all like the back of my butt. My bad, Dana. There he is. I was. I, I, Overslept. My bad. I didn't even make it to the picks. I like, damn. Every season, to change it up a little, we have a coaches challenge where the coaches, you know, end up uh, competing in something. As we're walking into the Palms, Dana says, "I hope you guys like to play cards." And me and Quentin say at the same time. I suck at gambling, too. As soon as we come out of the elevator, we walk into the suite, and there's a basketball half court in there. A couple of them started to realize that we were playing basketball. I played basketball in high school, like everybody. But I haven't shot a ball in at least two years. I suck. I'm for real. I'm probably the worst basketball player on the planet. I'm an ass kicker. I can't play basketball. I kick ass. <laughs> so this season, we decided to do Game of Horse. On this show, it's going to be Ultimate Fighter. The winner of the Coach's Challenge <laughs> wins the 10 grand. <laughs> so the winning coach walks out of here with, with 10 Gs tonight, OK? Yeah. The winning team wins another 1,000, OK? You guys won 1,000 each. I said, I'll tell you what, guys. If Rampage can nail this three-pointer, I'll double the fighter money. Oh, uh, that's two grand. And sure enough, he does it. <laughs> so 
we were excited until Forrest started shooting and he looked like Larry Bird um, in his prime. I don't know if Forrest wanted that $10,000 or just wanted to beat Rampage at basketball, but he was dead serious about playing basketball. Ooh. It didn't matter where Rampage stood, what he did, how he threw it. Oh, that was close. He wasn't making <laughs> game point, game One more. Point, this is the game, game right here. You know, I figured, end it with a knockout, right? Oh! Force is pretty good. Rampage is <laughs> Rampage better hold on to that title. Really, it don't matter if I lose to Forrest. <laughs> he still got to see me in the octagon come July. I feel awesome. I, uh, I don't think this truly even kicked in yet. I have a good feeling uh, it's going to hit me tonight. It's definitely going to hit me tonight. When the fighters leave the show, I take them out for a night on the town. We go out to dinner, we go out to clubs, and the UFC's home is here in Las Vegas, so I tell them to act appropriate, you know? Have as much fun as you want, but let's be cool. Then I think there were like four or five of them that decided to stay another night, and I got a call from Palace Station Security, so I sent our security guy over there, and he came back with some footage of what had happened the night before. Apparently, Jesse Taylor and a couple of the guys rented a limo, and they were staying at the Palace Station Hotel. And they came in at about 3 o'clock in the morning. And when the limo pulled into the valet, Jesse Taylor kicked the window out of the limousine. And if that wasn't bad enough, then he went into the hotel and started terrorizing some of the female guests. And when he was approached by security, he started flipping out and getting hostile with him and basically telling him, you know who I am? I'm a UFC fighter. And that don't cut it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring Rampage and Forrest back down to the gym here. And I'm going to sit him down and tell him what happened. Show him the video and uh, tell him what I'm going to do. Look at who that is running. Who's it, JT? Yep. Oh. Jess kicking through a window and just kind of acting like a lunatic and apparently he did some other stuff that evening or over the course of uh, the two days he was released before he went home. Why would you why would you do that? Then if that wasn't bad enough, then he went into the palace station, they went to the bar and he started terrorizing some of the female guests. Then security came and started yelling, I'm a UFC fighter. I'm a UFC fighter. Yeah, see that's that's not a good move at all. You you wouldn't want a guy like that representing your company. Oh. Or the sport. Or the show. Or the, yeah. I told these guys, you know, what we expected of them. And whether they're in the UFC or not, it's just not the way you, uh, it's not the way you act. What's up, guys? Hey. Welcome back. How's it going? Good. What's up, man? What's up, Forrest? What's up, man? So talk to me. What's up? What happened when you went out? Um, I drank a little too much. And what? Uh, drank a little too much and just got a little rowdy. This is my town, bro. I know everything that goes on. And I gave you the speech before you left, how you needed to conduct yourself. 
It's one thing to be in the house and bust up the house and have fun, but when you get back out into the real world, you go to jail for that These guys aren't UFC fighters yet. They're trying to become UFC fighters. And, you know, what I've seen from Jesse Taylor outside of the gym here, he's not a guy that I'm interested in having in our organization. What you did here the last two days shows me you're not mentally ready to be in the UFC. Bro, you're not even famous yet. What the well, are you going to be like I'm not, when you start making money I'm so, I'm and not. everybody wants your autograph and all the girls want to hang out with you? What's going to happen to you? You're going to be a lunatic. Oh. Yeah, you will. I saw a glimpse of it over the last two days that you were in Vegas. You're not ready for this, dude. You're not ready. <sighs> the bottom line is, you're out, bro. The first time ever in seven seasons of The Ultimate Fighter that somebody gets kicked off after the show. <sighs> I just got uh, kicked out of the UFC. Probably the worst uh, moment of my life right there. Sorry, Forrest. <clears throat> Sorry, man. It's... On a on your fist. Since I was a kid, I had a feeling I was going to be something, you know? A hero to people. And I had that chance. A lot of people were rooting for me and going for me to be the hero and the underdog. <laughs> I could have done it. I wanted to be a hero. What's my whole life? I don't know what to say. <laughs> What's what I tell the people? I let a lot of people down. What do I tell my family? My kid when he's older? Does his dad go this far and not finish the last? I just want to disappear for a while. Thanks for fighting hard and, and giving it everything you had and giving it a good season. You're physically ready. You can come in here and fight with guys and win. You are far from mentally and emotionally being ready for this. Believe me when I tell you. Go home, get your life together, call me. In a few months. All right? I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, I have to run It's the, the opportunity of a lifetime. Opportunity of a lifetime. I was this close, though. I've been f***ing about my whole life, though, so. I was close. I mean, I'm not a choir boy. I'm, you know, I've done some bad stuff myself, so I'm not really in much of a position to judge him. I like Jess. I like him as a guy, as a training partner. He's a good guy. It just kind of things got a hold of him. So yeah, it sucks. First time this has ever happened in seven seasons of The Ultimate Fighter. We've never had a situation where a guy gets kicked off the show after the show is over. I mean, we're in a weird situation here. So what we did was we, you know. I think we made the best decision we could make. Look who's back. Hi, friends. What's up, man? What's going on, CB? We decided to bring Tim and CB back because they're the two that lost in the semifinals. I mean, it makes sense. We're going to sit them down, tell them what happened, and see if they want to fight each other. And whichever one of them wins, we'll move on to the finale to face Amir. Well, I got some good news and some bad news for you. OK. What do you want first, the good news or the bad news? Bad, bad news. news is good. Bad news is JT's out. He's out. First time in seven seasons that somebody gets kicked off the show after it's over. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Good news is you two now have the opportunity to fight each other. 
the winner moves on to the <laughs> finale to fight Amir. Uh, I hadn't talked to Dana before I came here. I just thought I was having some kind of meeting, you know, about, like, future plans. I really had no idea that I'd be coming here to uh, get told that I, I have a second chance to get into the finals. You know, to be honest, when I got out of the car and saw CB getting out of the car, um, I knew that fight was going to happen. Do you want to do it? I won. <laughs> Me. Jesse Taylor's out. CB all the way's in. Back in there. Get down. You know, it's like a a, 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 a cloud coming. Ooh, you hear the angel noise. God, like Team Rampage lives again. Come on, resurrected. Ooh, we float back up and Team Rampage in there. I'm going side training. Team Rampage still got shot. I'm making this thing, baby. I'm going back up there. CB all <laughs> <laughs> Show everybody why you gonna be the best. You're always in a position to win a fight, Tim. Always in a position to win. You'll stand up bending the hills, you'll rest and bend the hills, he ain't got nothing on you, homie. Go out there and have fun and do your thing. It's your fight. It was an excellent fight. See you. You know, went out there and did a stand-up award. Oh. Face it. I thought he had him finished one time over there in the corner. I almost jumped up and ran in the cage. The winner, oh. by unanimous decision, and moving on to face Amir in the finale live here in Las Vegas, C.B. Dalloway. Good job, man. That's hard right there. You got tired in the second round. It's hard. I got one more chance, you know, rematch with Amir. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the best finale ever, man. It's gonna be the best show, man. We're gonna rock the world, man. Season number seven, man. Ain't gonna be another season like this right here. I ain't gonna never have another season like this. Red Page is back. <laughs> I don't care nothing about Forrest. Forrest is fresh meat. <laughs> Jackson is a monster. Earlier, the champion, Quentin Rampage Jackson, arrived here at the Mandalay Bay Event Center. I bet you our fight don't go to no decision. I bet you. Woo! I'm gonna whoop his ass. He's a tough guy, but I think I'm tougher and I'm and I'm meaner and I'm uglier. I don't think Forrest can bust a grape. This is gonna be the toughest fight Forrest has ever been in, you know? I'm the best fighter in my weight class. two inches taller, and he will have a four-inch reach advantage. It's time! Red Page Jackson! Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch stuff, do it now, go back to your corner. It was, it was a, a much more tactical fight. Oh, it took a couple of shots uh, there. Up the it's not the same hate we saw with Sarah and oh, Hughes. Good 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 left hook hurt him. Left hook hurt Forrest Griffin. Oh, oh, he got hurt. 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 He got Rushing in, bang, right there. You hurt him once, it's an even fight. You gotta go there and you gotta make him fight you. Uppercut combination. Rampage. Rampage to him on the left. Again, he steps forward. Man, that left hook is so violent. If he catches Griffin, he could be in trouble. Oh, good body shot. That leg is loosened up, maybe more importantly than anything else. Stay right where you're at. Fourth round. Fourth round. Fourth round. Don't, don't let him take this fight from me. Yeah, but that looked nasty in the second. Oh, oh caught him with the hook. And Rampage really going for that. Oh, Rampage is up on top. But Forrest wisely grabs a hold of Quentin's legs. 
He's at least out. Wow! Back to his feet. Rampage. Oh, he caught him on the way up. He caught Griffin on the way up. Rampage. Big Good left. Good Rocked him there, again. Rampage. Again with the left, and he catches him with another combination. He caught him with a couple of good punches there. Hits in face, please. Remember, we didn't saw if he's dummy. We're controlling this fight. We're controlling the Last fight. Round. Big right hand. And Inside leg kick. Oh, punishment to the body by Rampage. This crowd is going nuts. Uppercut. Caught him with the left. Rampage pushing forward. Unbelievable fight. What a fight. And there's an uppercut by Quentin and a little left hook behind it. And new UFC! Whenever you step in the octagon, it's a 50-50 chance you go get your ass whooped. And you know, I ain't, I, you know, I ain't no, I ain't no strangers to getting my ass whooped. I get my ass whooped sometimes. Quentin Rampage Jackson, ladies and gentlemen. Why, why you give, give my face like that after my fight and stuff like that? Hey, man, you, I, hey, you piss me off, they, man. They told me to do a face off. They told me to. Uh, they ain't tell me nothing. I'm gonna kick the out of you, Rashad. Come on now. I'm gonna beat you don't the hell out of you. Beat you don't believe that, do you? I know it. I'm gonna beat the brakes off. Let me off tell you me. why you ain't gonna happen. You too slow. You think so? You too slow. I'm glad you think that. You too slow. It don't matter. And your head too big and it's too easy to hit. Good. I can take them though. Yeah, you can. Can you take them? I can take them. Didn't let you take them your last fight. <laughs> your last fight didn't show me you can hey, take. Hey, how many fights you lose? I lost a bunch. A uh, bunch. I lost a bunch. I lost one. You ain't fought nobody. I lost one. You got a big ass mouth. Okay. And it gonna cost you. It don't scare me that you say, oh man, Rashad, don't talk to me. Don't say nothing to me. I'm crazy. Ah, uh, that didn't come in my mouth. Yes, you did. I, I remember you, got, you, was, you was blinded by rage. Dude, that wasn't rage, homie. You was mad. No, that wasn't mad. We get one of these big boys whoop your ass. You ain't never see me mad, homie. Oh, oh How you doing, big man? Scotty. What's up, man? How you doing? Scotty. What's up, big man? Man, when the fighters start walking in, you're a big uh, ogre looking man. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm like, damn, what? Man, he got as big as hell. Hey, man, he big. Nice to meet you. Look at that big that dude is. What the hell? I was just wondering, though, right before Machida knocked you out, what was you saying, though? Why was you talking, though? For real. Uh, Keep it real. No, no, no. Just uh, real talk. He's hit me, and, he's, and it felt like it was just like pillows. And I was like. You would breathe like, like a fish out of water. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn. How many real. times you been knocked out? Once. Who made you quit? Nobody made me quit. I never quit. Shogun. Oh, I didn't quit. I ain't tap out. I seen it in your eyes. You quit. No, I ain't quit. I never quit. You quit. I never quit. You quit that fight. You'll see. You I did. You quit. quit that fight. Hey, I never quit. We got five minutes. Don't get in a fight. All right, we got five minutes. Relax, you two. All right? Don't get in a fight. From the first time these two walked into the room together, it starts. You know, look at how you got knocked out. I'm going to beat your ass. You couldn't possibly beat me. This is going to be a long season with these two. You talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Kimbo? What's up, what's up, d -Dub? Jump in line there. He's on my team. <laughs> yes. Hey, I'm the best person in. Rampage, as soon as he's seen Kimbo, Kimbo on my team. And I'm thinking, cool. <laughs> Don't go nowhere near Kimbo. Don't even be, don't even be thinking about Kimbo Slice. All right, that's my first pick right there. I got him. He ain't got to train. He ain't got to do nothing. Hey, yeah. hey, you ain't got to do a damn thing if you don't want to. I, I want you on my team. You want to be on my team? Damn, man. Right, you ain't got to do a damn thing. All about, Sit man. back and look. No, I'm here, man. I'm here to dump. I've always been a fan of Kimbo. I like the way he fight, and I think Kimbo is smashing people. Rampage for his evaluation is having his guys beat the hell out of each other. We decided to make the, the guys spar each other and wrestle live and basically pretty much the stuff that they were really going to be doing. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Those tap, those tap. Yeah. Oh. Ah. All right, Jans, hop out, Kimbo. They get inside their cage. They're not going to be holding pants with each other and punching bags. Right. What's your name again? Roy. Roy? Big Country. Just big, remember that. Okay, Big Country. That's good, because I'm going to be sparring with your big belly ass. <laughs> Roy Nelson got a big ass belly. We checked him out, and he was fat. 
you know, rampage, kind of just like being a knucklehead, just kind of going through some of the things. I don't think he knows what, you know, what good talent is. He got titties. He's got titties. He got titties. We've got titties. We, <laughs> <laughs> we noticed that one of the fighters, he was kind of like a, you know, fat, pudgy guy, like a heavyweight, and he had some titties. So as soon as you got titties. Oh, nice combo. Don't bounce like that. You're distracting him with your titties. That's the whole point, man. OK. <laughs> Good strategy. <laughs> Go ahead and shake them titties, you know. Do a little dance like this with them titties, you know what I'm saying? Be happy you got titties. Tap those titties. Up. <laughs> we got to <laughs> He's watching those titties, though. <laughs> it doesn't really hurt my feelings or nothing. It just kind of it lets me, like, I, I just try to stay calm a lot. I, I don't want to get my, uh, get too emotional in here, because then I'll just get angry and do stupid Let me see. Hold your hand. Hold your hand up like this. Man, you got big sacks watch paws. <laughs> you play football? Yeah, I played back in the day. Like you swallowed a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> Kimbo Slice, uh, stand up was really impressive. A lot of people would think that Kimbo Slice would come up and try to knock everybody out and put the fear of God in people, but he wasn't like that. He was laid back. His, his ground and his, and his wrestling was lacking. But Kimmo, he has a good takedown defense. Stuff that's gonna help him stay on his feet. Uh, first person I choose is T, uh, my boy, Kimbo Slice. T the star, I was gonna get him first. That's cool. I guess I would choose that camera guy right over <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. No, I know I gotta mess with you, man. Oh, man. Hey, okay, bro. I think my team is stronger than Rashard's team because my team is bigger and size does matter. You know, I think that the guys on my team are hands down better than the guys on Rampage's team. And I know there's nobody on his team that can beat anybody from my team. Good luck. Welcome to the Ultimate Fighter. Get your ass out of here. Get your ass out of here. This is our gym now. Team Rampage ain't playing around, baby. Hey, I love you, man. Huh? Hey, much love, love baby. You. Much love. I feel I got the better guys on my team. I got the bigger guys. They're working hard over here. I'm pretty happy with my team. I'm going to do my test too, too. I got cardio is. Eleven. Some of the guys got big hearts, and I just want to test their cardio. Eleven. And I was pretty impressed with most of them. This is what I want to see. This, this is a test right here. Come on, three straight. Don't three stop. Three straight. Come on. Three One. straight. Come on. 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 Where your heart at? <laughs> But Big Marcus kind of scared me. I thought he was finna crap his heart out of his pants. You read through your nose? Stand up, stand up, stand up. Gotta get it up. I was expecting to see him throw up in his heart, just boom, 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 just beating on the ground right there on the mat. I was scared for him. I thought he was finna pass out. It's not a training with Rampage, you know what I'm saying? Not every day, you know what I'm saying? A person like myself will get to train with someone like a Rampage, you know? Someone who really would, you know, who really takes the time to him and his team, these guys really take the time and, and, and show me things. All right, guys, uh, get wrapped up. So everybody have a Kimbo Slice. Kimbo. We got specialness for you. We got specialness for you. But everybody know I was excited to get Kimbo, you know what I'm saying? I see, uh, I see myself and Kimbo a little bit like when I first started off fighting, so I'm trying to show him some things that worked for me. Yeah, there you go. Keep that head down. Push that head down. Wherever his head goes, he's going to go. Everybody know that they're going to come up, come out to Kimbo. They're going to put on one of their wrestlers or their jiu-jitsu guys on Kimbo and try to take him down, take him out. Nice. Nice. The second one. <laughs> nice. You learn fast, huh? He's like a sponge. Find that elbow, find the elbow, Kimbo. Yeah, there you go. That's four. That's four. Good job. I got a lot of faith in Kimbo. I think he, he's, a, he's a fast learner. He's, he's a hungry to learn, and he's very coachable. So we just preparing for the worst and getting Kimbo ready. 
I like the way you work hard, Kimbo Slice. Thank you very much, my Paige Jackson. <laughs> Sometimes sit around and imagine, and I'm not trying to be negative, but imagine that you something did happen like you lost. And think how you feel. And let that be your experience for losing here. Chop, chop. Y'all on our time. When I come to the gym, I see Rashad's team still lounging on the mat, you know what I'm saying? And uh, just talking stuff they could have did in their office or whatever, you know, that's very disrespectful. I'm thinking about going over there and just pulling my pants out just far right on all their heads, just, just doing just a ghetto blast. Yeah, Rampage came in the one day we were doing our mental training at the end of it, and uh, he was mad because we kind of stepped on his timeline a little bit by five minutes, but his guys ain't gonna do nothing but get in there, look in each other's face, and look stupid. I confronted Rashad nicely, gentleman-like, because everybody know I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm not the cocky one here. Hey, sir, I appreciate that you guys get out here on time. Hey, I understand that, man, but they had us here late. The lights was off. They said they're going to bring out here about 20, 35 minutes late. Yeah, they said they're going to have us here at 1130. What time is it now? 1135. <laughs> <laughs> well, they brought us here. We, we actually had the five minutes that, that we're taking right now. Mm -hmm. See, that's the five minutes that that uh, it took us to get our <laughs> on, so. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Hey. I ain't got nothing to do with hey. how long it took you to get hey, us hey, up hey. on. Hey. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do nothing anyway. Oh, we finna do something. I ain't gonna do that anyway. Dude. Timmy. Rashad. Don't, Rashad, don't say nothing to me. Rashad, you already don't know, you already know your, first, your, first, your, first, your first round pick finna get up out of here. Y'all need, hey. hey. need to get the hell up out of here. Y'all need to get the hell up out of here. Hey, it's time, it's time for us to train. Good job. Y'all get the hell up out of here. Get the hell up out of here. It's our time. Get up out of here. We're gonna see. Yeah, we're gonna see. I had a big smile on my face. I said it real nice, joking around, but still kind of firm, because I, I don't want to start no fighting up in the road, you know. I don't want to have to drop them, you know, right before training and stuff like that. Let me get in shape first before I had to knock somebody out. Don't say nothing don't, to me. Don't take up my time no more. Don't say don't nothing do to me. Don't take up pay, my time no pay, more. Hey, pay, don't say nothing to me. Hey, y'all need to be don't up out of here. Y'all need to be up out of here. Hey, don't when say it, when it comes time for me to train, y'all better not be lingering around. I don't need to see y'all guys up in there. Hey. Y'all need to get the hell up out. Wait, hey, quit trying to touch my ass. What's wrong with you? <laughs> See, me and Rampage's relationship works like this. We joke around and joke around, and then next thing you know, it's the underlying, like, I want to punch you in the face type of joking around, you know? Like, you know, he's smiling, and then I say something to him, and then he say something to me, and then it's serious again, you know? So it, it's only a fake smile. How you doing, man? The dean of me. How you doing, man? How you doing? It's good to see you, man. You doing good? Great, right, man. I like, cool. I like the tip. I said, we're just saying, we're just boop. <laughs> 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 I like Jardine. Jardine is a, is a real cool guy. He laid back, you know what I'm saying? We had a good fight. I don't know no case. I know Keith Jardine. Don't start hurting a little bit. For what? Rashad wanted to get to talking about how he thought Jardine hurt my jaw, and that's why I didn't fight him, and that's why he fought Machida. And 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 that's that's really pissed me off. Sick dog hurt my jaw. Sick dog. Hurt my jaw. Oh, we I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know him by sick dog. Hector Ramirez hurt my jaw. His name is KJ. You go sit here and say that when I fought Jardine because you didn't want to fight me. I was supposed to fight Rashad that day, but Jardine stepped up. I was supposed to fight you. You didn't take the fight. The Dana said, the Dana said, Rashad said, I want to keep my belt longer. I fought him. I fought him because I was supposed to fight you. I was supposed to fight you. I was supposed to fight you. But your boy stepped up. Now you want to talk so told that I want to keep my belt longer. I did, yeah. That's what, hey, ask Dana. That's what Dana told me. That's what Dana told me. And he stepped up like a man and fought me. You didn't fight me, man. You said what? Hey, no, you said no, you said no, right? Yeah, yeah I said no. Then shut up. Yeah, I said no. Okay. Yeah, I said no. I just fought. Fight. I just fought two fights. I just fought two fights. Did you take the fight in May? No, I ain't take okay, it. Okay, then. Well, 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 well. I ain't take the fight. Well, so. Smell you fighting to the fighters right now, though. Let me back up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know you ain't talking about you with your mint breath. I don't smell his breath. Rashad breath can fight for him. I think this is how Rashad knocked out Chuck, for real. I think Chuck got a whiff of that breath. Chuck didn't even get up. Chuck was out. He had no chance. And, you, and you, now you heard your boy's breath. That's all Rampage has. All Rampage has is a bad brother, Joe, got gum. I mean, come on, Rampage. What are you taking your head for? Why you, why you, why you, why you shaking your head up? No, I'm just saying. I'm just asking you a question. I was just shaking my head as I was walking away, and he's like, what are you shaking your head about? And I was like, listen, mate, I, I don't do what, what you two are doing. I don't do the constant, you know, verbal 
dialect, don't don't pick on me, you know, don't start with me, I'm not gonna take it. Hey, you don't talk to you. What do you say? Speak 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 American. I, I don't you talk I don't talk American. I'm not American. I don't play games like this. I don't play games like this. You always coming around starting the smack talking, mate. With this deep British accent, I'm like, dude, I can't understand you. I got British friends. I trained in the UK, homie. I can't understand you right now, homie. Take Rashad's nuts out your mouth, then talk to me. I don't do that. Guess what? Guess what? It's just too much Guess energy. What? Guess what? Like, what? Do I give a I don't give a Okay. Oh, right, hey, hey, hey. Let's chill, good. Man. Go, 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 man. Go, go get your boys, man. I got in the middle because I don't want Nick Sweeney to be kicked out of this competition because he hit a coach. And I think he's about five seconds from doing it. It's too cocky for your own good, man. <laughs> the most shocking thing about season 10 is the Kimbo. I got to know something. How long did it take you to grow the hair on your face? <laughs> All right, my, my, my son is four. I started before he was born. And you never shaved it? Um, I trim it up, knock it down. I don't let it get too long, too crazy. How you ever, how you ever found any chicken bones or <laughs> any old food or anything? No, nah, nah, for breadcrumbs. Bread like you never yeah. lost anything in there? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> he is not the guy that you would think he is. A lot of people bad mouth and want to hate on him and stuff like that. But you can't help but love the guy. You can't help but like him. And why you wear a yarmulke on your head? That's uh, just to keep the hat out, you know? Uh, you Jewish? Jewish? Nah, black Jew. <laughs> <laughs> black Jew. <laughs> a black Jew. Oh, OK. All right. Yeah, All ain't right. nothing wrong with having your own swag. OK. The most important thing that I like about Kimbo is that he's humble. And he's hungry to learn. He's not a know-it-all. That's what's going to take him far, because he's going to learn he's going to get better. <laughs> All right, man. All right, coach, man. <laughs> <laughs> Flexible. Oh. The idea now is to get him confident, just drill him on enough stuff that we've been teaching him and keep um, working with him on the same stuff we've been working with him on, getting up off his back and take down defense. Whatever you feel like doing from down there, whatever you're comfortable with, go for it. There's no wrong thing you're going to do down there. Right? But to stay down there. Yeah, it's up to stay down there. Now the other option is gonna be he's gonna mount you. We're gonna mount, drill, escape in the mount. Hey Tiki, he had a problem with um, getting the big guy off him like that. In that in the foot? Which one? Uh, Zach. He had a problem. He couldn't get Zach off the mount like that. He was too big. Zach! Come here. But one in particular uh, mount defense, I didn't like it, because come on, the guys he's fighting got a big ass belly. Get him off you, Kimbo. Don't let him up. Don't let him up, Zach. Don't let him up, Zach. Lock those arms. And I'm like, Tiki, this guy got like a big stomach. I'm like, Kimbo gonna lose his hands and his wrists and that belly. It's like, a, it's like trying to get the blob off you. Like, boop, 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 boop. Just go out there and have fun today. Mm -hmm. Have him put on a good fight. Try to knock his block off. No, no, try to knock his block off. The Kimbo don't stop, dude. We try, we try I had to fight. Out down. If I had to fight, I wouldn't be doing a damn thing. He's a different breed, coach. Yeah. The fight was pretty set up, pretty decent, you know what I'm saying? Taking that little fat <laughs> putting him in with me. Trying to take me down. <laughs> Come on. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> My turn. I'm the bull. I'm the bull. Here you go. I'm the bull. Here you go. I'm the bull. I'm the bull. Oh. Oh. I'm the bull. I'm the bull. Whoa. He's a shooter. He'll probably try to shoot in. You know what I'm saying? Take me out of my element, which is off my feet. Kimbo, don't be, don't be, don't be hating. <laughs> <laughs> don't be hating. I hate you, coach. <laughs> I thought the fight was real exciting. One, One two. two. Kimmo came right out, and Kimmo defended the first takedown defense. Like, yeah, we're looking at each other. Yeah, we finally gonna win one. Yeah. <laughs> then he took Kimmo down. We were like, Whoa. none of us could get that big belt off of us. It's like having the moon sitting on you or something, you know? How you get the moon off you? You guys need to have a count over there for me. So what? I lost count after 10. What the 
Red ass off me, man. He can say whatever you want to say because he's winning, right? And he's real cocky. But Roy said something that was really bad, and I like really had to catch myself. We already see your skills. You ain't got. I don't need to be cocky. I can't stand that fat. Now. Hey, you know what, Kimbo? I'm going to tell you what. You healthy, and we can keep working that stuff with you. I'm going to go turn you to one of the best fighters out here, homie. Keep Appreciate working that it. stuff. It's going to be The uh, only thing that kept you on the ground was his weight. Wasn't yeah, his skills. Is, yeah, I didn't know I know you did. Until I came in, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, that's the guy we're waiting. It would be Roy. Oh, hey, get your you fat ass out of here. You little spot. How come you the only one always around? I wanted, to see, I wanted to see who... Get your fat ass out of here. Spies. To be down three fights, it's like season seven all over again. I need a win like fish need water. Good luck, good luck to y'all team. Y'all just messed up, chose the wrong fight. Let's see. You got three. I want to win all eight. And I'm not going to be happy until I win all eight because I know we can win all eight. You're about to run eight fights off in a row. No, eight. you're not, man. Eight in a row. Come on. Has that ever been done? Yeah. He probably has. Eight this is a 10 season. Has that ever been done? Yeah. I almost got it done on me yeah, on yeah, 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 season right. seven almost. I'm actually ashamed of the of the thoughts that I'm having. I'm really ashamed of them. I like Brandon, but tell Brandon don't take his ass whooping person. I tell him myself. So we gonna whoop that ass. I'm out. Let him know, let him know. All right, I'm out. Don't get mad, Craig. You heard what I said, I'm don't out. Don't get mad. Out. Have you ever thought about just punching somebody in, in their face and just your fish keep going through the back of their brain and, and you hear that noise, you pull out that brain like, ah, you just throw it down, you spit on it. You know what I'm saying? Then you kick him in the nuts. Why am I thinking stuff like that? Am I crazy now? I'm ashamed of myself. Just went around the grip and got something to eat. Yeah, yeah, they told, they told me to tell you that right back. Okay. What up? What up? Happy birthday. Feel good? Ready to go? Yeah. Get my hands wrapped. Gotcha. There you go. You got this, dude. Yeah. I had some tie pads in here, warm up my kicks, too. Just probably won't even throw any, but just. Yeah, quick Tiki has it. Yeah. See the first boot jab comes, bah, punish him, fuck him up. Ah! 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 
They're trying to take down the real good. Real good. I should have set it up. Huh? Okay. Should have set it up. It's okay. Big lights. Huh? Big lights. Yeah, it's good though. It's good though. It's good for your first fight though. You know what I'm saying? A coach should always be there for his fighter, whether he wins or he loses. When you're not there for him and you just leave him there to sit there by himself, he's gonna be like, man, nobody was there for me. He feels so alone. He feels embarrassed. He feels sad. All these emotions that go through a fighter after he loses, and you're just gonna leave him by himself just to feel like he isn't worth anything because he didn't win? That's, that's, that's horrible. Rampage keeps losing. He doesn't like to lose, and you know, it, it really, it really, really bothers him. Man, we gotta understand, these guys ain't on our level, man. These guys green. We can't be telling, we can't be coaching them, telling them to do a whole lot of stuff, man. We can't be telling them to do all that. He was in a good position punching, and we all like, put the knee, shave the knee, and chest, do all this stuff. You know, so we gotta make better decisions. He's in a good, he was in a good position, ground the pound. There's no reason for them to be passing guard, doing all this stuff. I know we think they got good jujitsu, man, but they, they ain't on our level, man. These guys are green. He had that fight won, man. I, I can't deal with that stuff, man. I can't deal with this, man. I, I just can't. It's too much for me, man. It's too much for me, man. Four fights. I'm down. Four fights. So how we got four more? I can't believe it. When these guys lose fights, it messes up my mood for the rest of that day and then the next day. I really hate losing, man. I really hate it. It really messes with my, my personal life. It messes with my sex life. And, you know, that's, that's already bad, because I barely got a sex life as it is. Get up, man. Stay relaxed. You don't got it. Wake up, wake up. Ready? Do it. Hands up. Hands up, 10 down. There you go. The fight started off pretty good for the first couple of seconds. There you go, good job. Wes was doing good, staying long. And then, then uh, somehow he got taken down. Right, right, I look, then next thing you know, I saw the referee picking up his arm like, like they used to do Hulk Hogan in the back in the day. You know what I'm saying? He was going like, uh, he's falling down. Uh, he's out. He's out. Keep, get out, Wes. Wes, get out. You know how to get out of this. Yeah, I, I just knew on the third one he was going to go to some city, like, you know, do like the Hulk Hogan thing, but he didn't do it. I was like, ah. Oh. Let go, let go. Am I cursed? What is going on here? What, what, what is, what is, what's up? What, what is going on? I never thought in a million years that Justin could submit my boy West in an arm triangle, ever. And I, that just killed, that just killed me inside, right? That, that killed my spirits, like, whoa. We go in a cage to see West Sims, okay? And Team Rampage, once again, for the second time, does not go in there to check on the fighters. What's up with that? Let's get him out of my stool. stool. It bothers me to no end that Rampage and his guys don't show the fighters that respect. You good? You good? Take some water. Uh, you hear a lot of talk from Team Rashad about questioning our coaches. Um, one thing you got to look at, Rampage, Rampage isn't a coach. Rampage is a fighter. And he'll tell you that straight up. You know, he brought in some good assistant coaches to help teach us. But it's, what Rampage does is try to prepare us mentally for, for the fight and what we're going to expect. I thought for sure Wes had this one. Guys either connect with their coaches or they don't. And I don't know if it's just that, you know, the coaches and the fighters aren't connecting on Team Rampage or what the deal is. There should never be a case where, you know, your guy loses and you just walk away from the, you know, you walk away from the cage. But... You know, we saw the same frustration with Ken Shamrock in, in season three of The Ultimate Fighter. I'm, I'm just taking a hand on that. You're doing a great job. Thank it real. you, sir. You're welcome, sir. I keep it real. You're doing a good job with your guys. Hey, but I just, want, I just want my but guys to have a good job. You're doing a good job with yours, though. I'm not. You could do, that. You could do better. I'm not. Give I'm not. I'm not a, I'm not a coach. You. I'm Give doing my best. You. I'm not a you, coach. You got all this experience. When I retire from fighting, fights. I ain't coaching nobody. You got what I'm supposed to do. I walk off, I don't like to get all mad and get all angry in front of everybody on the cameras. I walk off and do my thing. I'm gonna do me. That's all I know how to do. Yo, That's all I do. That's all I know how to do. Make sure the fighter is up off the floor. And Tiki, just because one uh, my fighter, my fighter was up. That don't mean you don't gotta go in the cage. No, the doctor. Respect. Well, I'm not a doctor. I don't want him to do in the cage. It's about showing no, me. No, I show him I show him in the locker room. That's what I do. In the locker room, that's what I do. You show him, you show him right there. I know what I'm doing.
You do your job, I'm doing my job. Yeah, you we sure, had two people you sure fighting. It look now. like you know what you're doing too. I know what I'm doing. It look like you know what you're doing too. I, I know what I'm doing. You being you. I'm being me. Selfish. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We we'll see how. We we'll see how that go. We we'll see what's up. If I don't go on the octagon after my fight, it has nothing to do with not supporting my fighter. This it has a lot with, you know, especially if they lose, have a lot with me not going to prison. You have no idea, man. They what? You have no idea. What I don't know about? What I don't know you about? No idea, what I don't know about? Please tell me something. You're going to learn pretty soon. Please man. tell me something. You're going to learn real fast. I can fight you with your style and still beat your ass. OK. Yeah. OK, what? Doing what that? you do. Listen. Cover roll. I, I, hope, do that. I hope you come out with cover road. Guess what? We know how to beat the cover road, idiot. So do I, okay. idiot. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> you got nothing that can beat me on. Okay. You got nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Say about that. Because Tom Rashad has a real little smart mouth on him and stuff. And, and a couple times in my mind, like I, I almost hit, you know, Rashad a couple times. I had to really catch myself. And so that's why it's, it's nothing like I don't support my fighters. I love my fight. I love Team Rampage. They're the coolest guys here, you know? We'll see. Nah. The conversation's over. Get to my troops. Ooh. What you gonna do, just go in there and text? You ain't gonna teach him nothing. Sorry, ass. What's it, what's your knee, how your knee doing? It's sore, it's every time I walk. It's what I ate with the hell you doing in here, titties? I'm looking for my Man, it's, it's time for y'all to get the hell up out of here. Hey, you know what? We gonna start being all up in y'all, all up in y'all business when y'all training. I'm gonna come up here early and be watching you titties, see how you do. Yeah. See, why you why you hiding around titties? Why you trying to spy on us? I wouldn't try to spy on you. You know I'm gonna win it though, right? You ain't gonna win nothing, titties. Titties. It's not, it's not a whiskey drink. <laughs> oh, you'll win a wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> I'll cut weight and I'll kick your ass at 252. Who me? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> he done oh, he done told his drawers with me now. He ain't, ain't nobody kicking my ass. What the hell is wrong with Barrel? <laughs> Titties, you'll make my day you come 205. That'd be an easy yeah. payday for me. man. Yeah, yeah um, Titties was kind of talking smack, you know, talking about he want to drop down to 205 and take me out. And then he go try to turn around and say, I got the big mouth, I'm talking, I'm talking. I'm like, hold on, hold on, Titties. You want who's saying that uh, you want to drop down my way because I have to take me out? See, that's the worst thing that people can do to me, say stuff like that. I hope Titty had confidence when he dropped down 205 and in front of the Arthur gun in front of me. I'd knock your little ugly ass. Don't back up. Don't you don't, man. Back up. Yeah. You don't, man. Look at how big your jaw is. It's like, God, God. I'd knock your ass out, Titty. Titty you know it. I'd serve your ass. This team's out there. I'd serve your ass. You think so? I'd serve you. You think so? Hey, why don't we have a sparring session? He's talking about he's going to drop down 205 and knock me out. Why don't we have a sparring session? I That's up this guy. I'll go. Monkey I'll uncut your titty you and make your titty hit your own self in the jaw. Right, I'll be, be like this. Let's all just start throwing hands. Let's, Let's do, do it, it then. In the beginning, it was just fun. And then now uh, the attention's flared. And uh, I kind of wanted to hit him. Hey, you want to start talking first. You the one who said, said it first. You're talking about me doing it. You've been it. talking since I got here. I've been calling you titties. I think if Rampage keeps talking I think I'll keep talking back. I think if it escalates where he gets in my face say more and more and more, I think, I don't know. I'm really trying to restrain myself because if somebody was that close to me, I think I would have just headbutted him. Because uh, street fight's a lot different from a cage fight. With the last win, Team Rashad remains in control. Our choice to fight, we choose Schoonover. Titties. Versus Zach. You got milk, bitch? <laughs> got milk? <laughs> you mother <laughs> you. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. <laughs> come on. I <laughs> you. <laughs> In your ass, bitch. Come on. Well, come on. Hey. Come on. I'm supposed to be scared of you? I'm supposed to be scared of you, Titties? You really, you really think I'm supposed to be scared of you? I think you think I'm supposed to be scared of you. No, hey, I ain't trying to scare you, homie. I ain't trying to scare you. I ain't trying to scare you. So shut him up when you fight. You walk up on me again, though, your ass gonna be in my trouble. Trust me. Walk up on me again, you gonna be in trouble. Trust me. Walk up on me again.
Walk up on me again, you'll be in trouble. Walk up on me again, that's all I gotta say. Get close enough, walk up on me. You man, you feel frog, get jump. That's all I gotta say. Schooner was about to go back over there because he was on the spot. He was in a hot seat. He has to do something now. We're gonna save it, man. We're gonna save it. So I have to step up in between to make sure that he saves face and at the same time defend him. Ain't no need for nobody else. I, no, I ain't never did nothing violent to him. Well, he don't like how you tell him. Give Name. I don't care. That's not his name. I don't care. And then I'm violent to him. But if I call you dick face every single day, you better be do funny. something. It'd be funny. It'd be I funny. I would laugh. That's funny. Dick uh, face nobody is like, funny. Nobody that's likes funny. you call out their name, Paige. I don't care. Nobody likes you call out their name. I don't care. Name. I ain't did nothing violent to him. But then again, you hey. are the one that's making a violent threat then. I am, hey, I am, it's a promise. OK, he well, you, you the one who promising something, right? You walking up on me. You the one who promising something, right? Now he want to take up for titties. You know what I'm saying? Probably because he's jealous because titties got titties, and he ain't got no titties. So you know, you know we should like playing with his nipples. I bet he wish he had some titties to play with. Because he think I'm scared of him and nah, his titties. Nobody think he's scared of him, but he, nobody likes to be disrespected, period. It don't matter. Nobody it likes to be matter. disrespected. I, hey, it don't matter. I'm having a good time here. Well, I got a smile on my face. I'm having okay. a good time. Well, good. Smile. Yeah, I'm having a good time. Smile, but don't get mad when he walk up on you, though. It's OK. And don't say you're going to do something. It's my don't turn, say you're going to do get anything to him. I don't even want to talk to you anymore. Get out of my gym. It's my turn. Like I said, like I said. Yeah, like I said, get out of my gym. It's my turn. Come on, let's get a drink. Come on. A joke is a joke until it's not a joke anymore. If you don't want a confrontation, then don't call him the name. He just wants to joke around the whole time and, like, you know, mess with people's heads, but he can only do it so much. Daryl, you know, sticking up for himself, but Daryl might not want to pick a fight with Rampage, you know? He might want to take the titties thing and, you know, you know, take it on the chin. Because <laughs> he doesn't want to take it on the chin from Rampage. Oh, that's big. All right, guys, I took it upon myself to make a little present. <laughs> I made a little uh, collage of Team Cocky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sucker. I get tired of those suckers always acting real cocky and like they better than us. So we got a surprise for them fools. We got a big secret, and we need y'all to keep this a secret. We painted a picture of Team Cocky. Titties. Titties is my favorite character on there. He got some nice bajugga juggers. Oh my goodness. Man, if, if he a butterface though. <laughs> He's the worst one. Look at this. 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 Hey, I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. You, you, he, going, he might go crazy, man. No, it don't matter. Who cares? He sees that. Yeah. What are you going to do? Oh, this is man. like a funny thing. Uh, this is a funny thing. This is the main one we were trying to mess with these two anyway. So everybody else is just, they was long for the ride. He ain't got his ass, boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I didn't know. Doesn't this look just like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good toy. Yeah. 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 Right. Let's get back to work. What about the areolas? You need areolas. It's <laughs> perfect. He got two O's in his neck. <laughs> Look at these dicks. I couldn't, I couldn't fight no guy with titties. You know what I'm saying? You the man, homie. Can't no guy with titties beat me. Stop! Stop! Yes! And he ends up getting put to sleep again and then triangle choke. He knew how to get out of. Hopefully, people start to you know get showing me a little bit more respect. But I doubt Rampage is, is gonna stop talking. Shit. He's just a, he's an idiot, so he'll probably just keep running his mouth. It's fine though. Hey, we got Team Shot in prison. Y'all seen it already? But we want to give it to you though. Y'all can have it. Take it up, put it in your house. 
<laughs> That's my favorite. Yeah, take this home, put up, put up in y'all house. We didn't get the reaction that we were looking for. Everybody was pretty happy with it. They want copies. Next time we're gonna hit them a little harder and see if they like our next prank. Who's the best one on there? <laughs> Taser. <laughs> I said, I got faith and we still got more guys in it. It ain't over till the fat lady sing and titties ain't sung none yet. The first time Rampage called Vander, like, he was like, hello. The referee had to come between. He was like, huh. <laughs> I wasn't knocked out. Does this count? <laughs> Does that count as being knocked out? Hey, Rashad, last fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rashad's last fight. He did the stanky leg in the fight. Hey, y'all, boy, bad, boy. I just can't take it no more. I just can't take, keep losing to. Rashad, cocky ass. Rashad, come on, we gotta go. Get up. <laughs> Quit playing, Rashad. We gotta get up. Come uh, on. <laughs> Rampage, the whining bitch. We'll see who's the whining bitch. You'll be the whining bitch. Somebody gonna be doing a stinky leg again. Excuses. You've been knocked out more than I've been knocked out. About the same. Right? Home. Right? Nope. Yeah. Who yeah. knows how many times you've been knocked yeah. out? Yeah. Well, you, you know you ain't got like nothing. You know you ain't got Your nothing. Your weak ass gonna get treated like a girl. Who gonna treat me like a girl, huh? Who you think? Who gonna treat me like a girl? You? Who you think? You? Who you, you? think? Oh, you gonna treat me like a girl. Watch. We gonna say what's up. Hey, we gotta train. We gotta train. You're on this right. We gonna say what's up. Get your ass out here. It's time to train. That's right. I tried to break it up, but they split up for half a second, and they went right back at each other talking. I'm gonna make you quit. You gonna make me quit? I'm gonna make you quit. You gonna make me quit? I'm gonna make you quit. I'm glad you're thinking that way. It's like you quit in this competition, and you quit on your fighters. I ain't quit nothing, baby. That's exactly how you gonna quit. I ain't quit nothing. My fighters the one that's quitting in the cage. I ain't quit nothing. You quit. I'm still here. You quit on them on day one, and you're going to quit in a okay, fight. Okay, we'll see. Because that's what you do, you quit. I mean, it's not a front. You can feel it, man. They they really want to fight each other, like, really bad. Like, they don't like each other, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's starting to escalate, and you can feel the tension. We're going to see. Don't quit. That's all you do is talk. I win, and you talk. They, they, that's the difference. Understand. That's the difference. You don't win nothing. You talk, I win. I got more knockouts than you. Nothing. All you do is you talk. You knock all out. You, do you don't talk. got one or two people you, you think you're the man. All you do is talk. All I do is talk. All you do is talk. You can't keep your mouth shut, so you get knocked out. Think about it. Think about it, Rashad. You're so full of yourself. I'm full of myself. You're so full of yourself. I'm full of myself. You're going to be sleeping. I'm here. You're going to be sleeping. You're so full of yourself. You're going to be sleeping. And I'm full of myself. You're so full of yourself. You can't even focus on the task at hand. You're so full of yourself. You're supposed to be here coaching. You're supposed to be coaching. I'm not a coach. You ain't coaching. I'm not a coach. You ain't coaching. I ain't a coach. But you came here to coach. Yeah. I ain't come here to coach. I brought these guys to coach. Then you should have accepted Job. You shouldn't accept I accepted the job, and I brought, accept I, brought, I brought my coach with me. The job, and we're doing do a good job, job. and we're doing a good job. You turn your back on We're doing a great job. Hey, team. Hey, team, remember that. Hey, team, we're doing a good job. He turned his back on you. He turned his Thank back you. on you. He said that y'all quit. Who? He quit on y'all from day one. Y'all remember that. Well, some things that get said are getting so personal, you can't take them back. It's not just for the cameras. It's not trying to make it, uh, oh, you know, we're trying to build a fight. I think it's gone past that, and I think they're on the edge where they could snap and they're going to go. Hey, why you got one shoe on, one shoe off? Because I was ready to break one of your mother. Yes, that's why. You said what? You I was ready to break your ass, hey. baby. I was ready to break hey. your ass. Please. Okay. Rashad. Okay. Hey. Look at me. We're gonna get Look a chance. at me. We're gonna no, get no, no, no. We're gonna get no, no. Hey. Don't make, don't make threats. Hey. Then and say hey. we'll get a chance. Listen, listen. I'm, listen. I'm right here right now. I'm here right now. Listen. I'm here right now. Your mother face. I'm telling you. Please. Touch me, please. Take both shoes off. Please. Rashad, you gonna put one in my ass? Why you took your shoe off? That's why you took a shoe off because you put one in my ass. That's what. That's, 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 is that what you just told me? And then you get in my face and say that. Then you walk. Then you all over it. That's why you took. Oh wait, nah, why are you getting tough? Because there's people between us. No. Why are you acting like nah? It's because there's people in front of us. Now you want. Bad. Now you want to say, oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on dude, you saw, dude. Oh, oh, I want to say you standing right here. You saw, dude. Now you all we over there. You saw, hey, dude. You saw. Hey, you saw. That's what you good at. Hey, you, I, you know what? You I back it up. I talk and yeah. I back it up. Yeah. I said yeah. I was going to whoop your ass in competition, and I did. I can't stand that boy for real, man. I came really close to just trying to knock his teeth down his throat. Sucks about that, it shows everybody how cheap our <laughs> doors are. It looks like egg crates. Listen, 
The last thing you want to be here on the set of The Ultimate Fighter is a door, okay? There's no future being a door here. <laughs> doors? Wait for the right spot. Doors right don't right hit back. Rampage is a clown, man. Why would you get mad and tear down the door when you haven't, you know, you haven't shown that much interest in your team anyways? You haven't shown that much interest in wanting to be here. So why are you tearing down the door? You know what I'm saying? You, you, get, you get out what you put in. And if you put in nothing, you get out nothing. So don't be surprised. Yeah, it was a close fight, but there's no need to tear down a door, fool. Every time I lose my temper like that, I feel ashamed because it's kind of embarrassing. It's like kind of like a kid throwing a tantrum or something. You know? It was kind of embarrassing, man. The door didn't do anything to me. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to apologize to the door, but it was too late. It was gone. So, you know, door, as you can hear me, I never do it again. <laughs> Belly bop, <Ooh>. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. That's not gay, right? <laughs> hey, titties. <laughs> titties, come on over here, come talk to me, man. Come on. <laughs> come on, titties, let's make up, man. Come on. You know, we used to, we used to be cool, we used to like each other. No homo. All right, I'll try to apologize to Titties, you know. I like him. I ain't got nothing against him. I don't understand why he don't, why he get mad. Because if I didn't like Titties, I could have called him Bitch Tits. <laughs> okay. All right. Your name, I'll find your <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on, Titties. Come on. Come on, Titties. Are you serious? Come on, Titties. Get the no, no. Listen, listen, listen. Come on, man. It's okay. It's okay. Come on, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's funny to me. Don't worry. Did you guys? <laughs> I thought you motorboated No, I didn't motorboat him. <laughs> I went motorboat titties. So I thought we was cool, and I grabbed his titty, and that wasn't pretty. He didn't like that. He didn't like when I grabbed his titty. Felt good, though. I was wrong. I should never grab his titties. When I'm wrong, I admit it, you know? I wanted to smash his head into the into that big old pole that was right there, but it's a good thing that I have good teammates because they're always there to, you know, to grab me and, and pull me back. I apologize. I was wrong for grabbing his titty. You should never grab somebody's titties if they don't like it. Marcus. Yeah, versus Daryl. I let Rampage pick his fight. I mean, come on, we got to we got to throw him a bone. We got to give him something. He hasn't had the he hasn't had the best showing here. I don't really like the fact that Dana let Rampage pick the fight for his one fighter. I mean, you got that's like a privilege. You know, you have to earn that right, and I don't think that he's earned that right. I think he should be lucky that he has one fighter in there, so he should accept whatever matchup that I've wanted. All right, guys, those are the quarterfinals. Good luck. Hey, Dana. Hey. I was wondering whether we have some rampage juice come over to my team. Are you serious? Yeah. For training? Yeah, for training. I mean, they're not, they're not in there. Yeah, I don't see why not. How do you train seven guys to fight each other? So I extended my training to Team Rampage. Hey, guys from Team Rampage, uh, you know, if you guys want to come in and get some work in with my team, you're more than welcome. I'd love to have y'all. You know, so. What do we got to say about that team? Y'all want, want to go train with his team? Kimbo, okay. Miko, I'm you good. sure? I mean, he, he, he needs some training bodies. Yeah, if get, somebody, if train, guys want to go train, get some work in. You know, <laughs> that's all. It's all about the work, man. I mean, it ain't, you ain't saying nothing against Rampage if you come over to our team. I, I mean, can't disrespect my coach like that. I'm a team player, you know. You can't switch out like that. You gotta ride or die. Well, he gave up on y'all a long time ago, and he I said that to you. Oh. He said that to you. He was with us every day. But what did he say, though? He what did he, my what did he say? Day. He had what did he say? Every day. What did he say? I mean, let's do it. Let's go. Come on. My team don't want nothing to do with you or your team. Hey. Okay. I'm trying to help y'all. I'm trying to help y'all. I'm trying to help y'all. You think Rampage cares if you get better? Nah. Rampage don't care about you. Rampage is about making that money. Yeah, so fat, man. Yeah, yeah. Shard is so full of himself. You know what I'm saying? He 
which I actually probably think the show is all about him. You know what I'm saying? It's called the ultimate fighter, not the ultimate coach. That's like when they showed you on camera how everybody booed you. That's how my huh? team booed you. Huh? Rampage, break another cardboard door down, tough guy. I'm so mad, I'm gonna break a cardboard door down. Oh, oh, I lost, I lost. Your team to run just like you run. Like you ran from a cheetah. I promise I won't run from you. Threw you threw one kick, got blocked, they got knocked the head out. Watch when you fight me, you do the same thing, you go no, run around, but it ain't gonna help you. I ain't doing nothing. You go run. I ain't trying to scare you. I ain't trying to scare you. Because I don't want you running. Because I don't want you running. You think just because you talk, you got something? Because I'm talking. You talking to me first, you call me just my team right there. That's why you just talk. I'm trying to, hey, I'm trying to get the work in. That's all I do is talk. I'm trying to get the work in. Keep saying stuff you're saying, like I give up my team, I don't give up my team. You did give up my team. You said that. You said that. I never gave up on I ain't never gave up on that. I keep that's, it real. I don't shoot code. That's I'm a complete contradiction. You said my team gave up on me. You said my team gave up on me, right? I'm real. Didn't you say you that? Fake. Did you not you say your team gave up on you? Who gave up on your team? 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 What do you see with Sean? Who gave up on your team? Who gave up on your team? What do you see with Sean? Who gave up on your team? It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. But hey, you're a sore loser. You're a sore loser. You're a sore loser. Okay. Why you break down the door? You just a sucker, dude. You just a sucker. Alright. If I'm a sucker, treat me like a sucker. I'm gonna treat you like a sucker. Well, come lick on me then. That <laughs> <laughs> made you a bitch, man. Straight up. I'm gonna you wash your breast. <laughs> that dude, now I feel like just fighting him right now. <laughs> <laughs> Team Rashad is so cocky. Those guys say so much stuff to us, and Rashad always run his mouth. We won't really win the fights. We couldn't, we couldn't say nothing about that. We couldn't come back with stuff like that. So we like, come on. Those guys love the painting that we gave them, the little picture. Let's give them something that they wouldn't like. Some cocks. Shut your ass up. <laughs> Don't let him out, dude. <laughs> Y'all take plenty of craps. Just crap around the place. Take a couple of farts. We've been with those chickens for like a day. But we had them like the night before. And we fed the chickens a lot so they can crap a lot. And those chickens were funky. <laughs> Those chickens smell bad. <laughs> he already crapping. <laughs> he already crapping. You know what I'm saying? I, I love all animals. I love these chickens. But not these funky sons. Of, you know, these are some funky chickens. I ain't love these ones. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Uh, uh, what's happening? What the f? Trip, check this out. Rashad, help! We did help! We did help! Today, after practice, I go to my car, and there's chickens in my car. <laughs> not one or two, but five chickens. And not only are these chickens just smelly and nasty, but they crapped all over my car. Oh, son of <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Are you serious? <laughs> look, they have it. Look, look. Yeah, look at Rashad's like, I'm going to I'm going to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> And then I realized that, you know what, chicken's not so bad after all, man, and uh, can be quite entertaining. <laughs> How y'all like your cock? <laughs> I thought these guys were gonna be pissed. I thought they were gonna be mad, like, yeah, you know. I was gonna laugh, like, yeah, we got y'all and stuff. And uh, 
These guys are happy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's and see. Shall be named Quintus. They start naming them. I, I think uh, Mike and Rashad took one of them home each. Don't say nothing to me. Don't say nothing to me. <laughs> Come on, man. I saw it on Rocky. It's possible. I saw it on Rocky. You can catch him. You got to have quick feet. <laughs> oh! <laughs> right, then again, we made them happy. Then the joke back cars on us because they get brand making new <laughs> rental cars, <laughs> cooler than the ones they had before. I'm like, well, we just can't win here. We ain't done yet. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. I think I got at least one more prank up on my sleeve, at least one more. Hopefully this one gets them. So we're getting ready for the coaches' uh, challenge this season. We're doing it at the Palms. What, walk up on the sand? Volleyball. Beach volleyball between two guys who have never played beach volleyball. <laughs> he got a pride shirt on. <laughs> he really messed with me today. Never really played volleyball, but you know what I'm saying? I do watch volleyball sometimes when the women be wearing those little bit of tight black volleyball shorts and they butt cheeks be hanging out. Teams are going to be Rampage and Tiki, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and Rashad and Mike Van Arsdale. Hey, man. Man, man, man. <laughs> so the coaches are playing for $10,000 in cash. Hey, oh. Each fighter will win uh, $1,500 if their coach wins. All right? No pressure, no pressure. You ready? Hold up, hold up, team, hold up, come on, come on, come on. Like family feud, we don't. Rampage, Dana, just give me the 10 Gs right now, please. Please, just give me the 10 Gs right now. You ready? You guys ready? No chemistry, no chemistry on that. So the game finally starts, and much to my surprise, these guys actually start playing some pretty good volleyball. Play it right over there, coach. Tip that. Nice! Get it again, coach! Come on, get it again, come on! Crazy. It was in. It was in. One more now, let's go. We won the first game. I'm like, yeah. I, for the first time, I saw Rashad frustrated. He was mad. He lost. I was so jazzed. I'm like, yeah, he ain't got no smart remarks. And look at his face. You can run, but you can't ready? Huh? All right, you guys ready? All right, let's do it. Game two is a bit different. Van started serving some, some nice stuff. And we are just clicking on all cylinders. We communicate really well. And we end up winning the second game. I'm so happy because now I know how to beat them. And I'm like, man, we got these dudes in a smash. All right, guys, this game right here decides who wins the coach's challenge. Van Arsdale starts acting like he's Maverick from Top Gun. He's spinning the ball. And, and I got to be honest with you. It actually turns into a really good volleyball game. This is the winning point right here.
We won 10 G's. We won 10 G's. I'm doing a burnout in the middle of the, of the floor, and Vans doing cartwheels on the other side. And we won $1,500 for each one of our fighters, man. And everybody is so happy. Rampage is, is seriously pissed off, but actually shakes everybody's hands, including Rashad's, as painful as that must have been for him. You know, I had a good time today. I had, I had a real good I did time. Too. Hey, take your you money, take, you take, take your you winnings. I don't need to touch it. On, man. Ain't my first time to no 10 grand. I don't need to touch it. You mad about this? You mad about this? Ain't no money to me, homie. Okay, that's cool. 10 grand ain't no, ain't no money. I've already spent 10 grand being here. So. If you got so much money, how come you won't give your players your money? Hook them up. Hey. Give them $1,500 each. You got hey. money. Hey, look at You got it like that, right? Hey. I got it. I can do, I can do whatever I, I can do whatever I got. I can do whatever I got to do. They should I, not I, be penalized I, I, for I, 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 I asked my team something. What y'all rather have? 1500 bucks or to see me knock it up? Out. Which one y'all want to see? Y'all want to see that? Y'all rather have 1500 bucks or watch me knock it up? out? all day. Thank you. Marcus. Marcus ended up with the takedown. That's what I was like, yeah. I didn't say nothing. I knew the fight was over. And boom, out of nowhere, Big Baby drops two heavy punches and puts Daryl to sleep. Wow. Wow. Tiki, why are you always next to Rampage? Where are you at? Yeah, he wants to be Damn. Are you jealous? Here, come stand He always next to Rampage. Hey, I went to Tiki MySpace the other day. Come stand he got a page just full of for Rampage pictures, him and Rampage. And one of the pictures, Rampage just hit him in the nuts, and he's like this. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> OK. Rashad instigates most of the argument. But you know, he starts it, and I just try to finish it. Don't say nothing to me. Extra smitten. That's your look at Mike Tyson. You just mad because you just mad. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not talking. You just mad because I'm ready. I'm talking about the waist area. I'm ready, dog. You just mad because I'm ready. You ain't ready enough. Dude, you, you just mad because I'm ready. You ain't ready enough. Rashad. You is not you, ready enough. Have you noticed I ain't talking that much? Because I can't wait to beat the brakes off you, boy. That's not gonna happen. I can't wait to beat the brakes off you. You know that's not gonna happen. You know that's not gonna happen. You know that's not gonna happen. Dude. You think you scared somebody? No, 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 no. I ain't trying to scare you. I don't want you to scare me. I don't want you to scare me. I want you to show up and be confident. I'm confident. I'm confident right now. I want you to show up and be confident. I'm confident right now. So I can serve your ass. You'll never serve me. I'm gonna serve you. You'll never serve me. You'll never serve me. You'll never serve me. You'll never serve me. Dude. Let's never serve me. Dude. You'll never serve me. You don't even know. You don't even know. Oh, I know. You don't know where I'm coming from. Oh, I know. Let's go. I know. You ain't coming with nothing because you ain't got nothing. What? Got I got everything for your ass. 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 Man, dude, yeah. dude, I don't even know if you gonna wake up, homie. Okay. I don't even know if you gonna wake up, homie. We'll see. You ain't gonna wake we'll up. See. Well, if you talk you ain't gonna wake you up. Do about the fights, then we'll see, baby. We'll dude. see. We'll I mean, how many people you knocked out? You knocked out three guys. You think you the man? It don't matter who I knock out. I'm knocking you out. It don't matter who I fight. It don't matter who I knocked out. I'm knocking out you. I'm knocking out you. Never. That's all I think. I keep dreaming. Knocking out you. Keep dreaming. That's the American dream right there. Don't droop with your ass. Get a little glass out of here. Ugly, my dear. Ugly. This makes me wanna just put the whooping up on Rashad. Just, you guys have no idea. Like, I, I, I can't wait. Like, I'm gonna remember everything he said, and it's just gonna make me mean like a pit bull. This is my jam. Get out. You're the WB. You probably looking at it. What the? Where's the reason for that? Oh, it's cute. Oh, yeah, little horsey. Uh, it's so soft. These will go good in their locker room. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Marcus. There you go. Time, change. Tiki came up with a great idea for a prank. He said, these guys have to get mad at this one. They have to. Or if they don't, <laughs> You're starting to skit? Here, let me see that. No. <laughs> yeah. I think we can do something with those. Are those Rashad's? Yeah. Actually, you know what? 
What the hell? <laughs> it's so hot. We changed the room, maybe look like his room probably does at his own house. <laughs> Damn, this is pretty as hell. We want the room to be nice and sweet for him, because he's kind of sweet. This is nice. So he has a perfect nickname, Rashad Sugar Evans. Perfect. This is some bull How do we got to warm up in this mother <laughs> Oh, the fighters got to warm up in the room for their fight. Could you imagine you warming up in here? I'm going to warm up in there. My bad. This is crazy. This is yours. This is yours. You need your pacifier? I'll put it in. It's actually really nice. <laughs> wow. Ugh. Let me see how that looks. Nah, you can't oh, man, say that. You ain't cool enough to rock that. Hey, you ain't cool enough to rock that. Get that next year. You ain't cool enough to rock that. Yeah, you're right, huh? Yeah, see, when Tiki when he's by himself, he had very minimal to say. I don't got a problem with Tiki, even though he's. Rampage is man slave. I mean, that's fine, but I don't have a problem with Tiki. I got a problem with Rampage. You're amusing. You're boy. Okay. You're okay. boy to me, Rashad. That's okay that when you Rashad, get you around your boys, you're you got something to say. I ain't said nothing. So all you're this man, just run his mouth. And he, and I bet you, all this stuff will go out the window soon I lay hands on him one time. Let's go, man. All right, y'all have a good, have a good, good, good food. Straight good bitches, lunch. both of y'all. Come on, did, did he say the B word? Yeah, he did. I know he, wa he walked away and called us bitches. <laughs> <laughs> he walked away and called us bitches. man. He turned his back. Hey, 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 hey. Bitches. Who is he? Y'all straight bitches. You a bitch. Treat me like a bitch, damn Rashad. Treat me like a bitch right now. Treat me like a bitch. I'm gonna treat you like a bitch. You in my face, call me a bitch. Treat me like a bitch right now. You a bitch. Treat me like a bitch right now. You in my face, call me a bitch. Treat me like a bitch right now. So you just got treated like a bitch. Cause you in my face, call me a bitch. Treat me like a bitch right now. 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 What the hell would you eat on before you came here? Treat me like a bitch right now. What the hell would you eat? Treat me like a bitch right now. Before you came here. Treat me like a bitch right now. Like I said, you a bitch. Treat me like a bitch right now. Bitch. Treat me like a bitch right now. You know you're a bitch. Treat me like a bitch right now. You know you're a bitch. You a coward ass you a bitch. bitch. You a bitch. You a bitch. You a coward ass bitch. Oh, you, you in my face, right Carter. Shot. Back up, dude. Back up, dude. Dude, I know you just didn't do that. Yes, I did. I know you just didn't do that. Yes, I did. Dude, you know I did. You came my face. So what? Throw it, baby. Throw it. Let it happen. Let it happen. So you talking all that good I walk up to you, you're still talking to Now what's up? Emma. Now what's up? Emma. I said you're a bitch back there, and I said you you're my face. And I told you, okay. treat me like a bitch. Let me, like, give you some, let me give you some gum first. Treat me like let a bitch. First. Let me give you some gum first. Treat me like a Like, like I, I said, dude, you soft. You soft, Treat dude. me like a bitch, like I said. You soft, dude. I got your I'm whole so. gang. I got your whole gang figured out. Yeah. But you ain't figured. One thing hey. you need to know, though. Treat me like a m. Going in there and fight. It's just gonna be me and you. Treat me like a m. You ain't gonna have Tiki to get like in the cage with you. Treat me like you a m. You ain't gonna have your teammates there to treat try me like to like a m. You up because when it's just me and treat you, like you, like a bitch. you ain't got nothing to say. You sure? You ain't got nothing to say. Okay. And I will treat you like a bitch, but right now ain't the time. Okay. And I can't wait to treat you like a bitch. Okay. Because you're gonna be a real good bitch. Okay. You're gonna be a real good bitch. Okay. You make a good bitch. Okay. You make a real good bitch. Yeah. I'll show you. Okay. I'll show you. I'm glad you think that. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'm glad you think that. I'll show you. Hey, let's go eat, man. I'll show you. Okay. I'll show you. I'm glad you think that. I'll show you. I'm show you. I'm glad you think that. I'll show you. Tiki, why don't you go away so his boss can go away and he can act like he half I get normal do. I just saved your mother life. Bye. I just saved your mother life. After tonight, you went on us quitting Rampage Jackson. Let's try to destroy him. Take him out as violent as possible. <laughs> Of course, one of the most powerful and explosive guys in the history.
history of the light heavyweight division. Earlier tonight, here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena, the arrival of Rampage. I'm not getting knocked out. I'm getting that belt back. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. You talk all this stuff that you gonna do to me, and you know damn well you can't do nothing of it. You knocked out from that. You think you the man? It don't matter. I'm not gonna never. No matter who I knocked out, I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do. Never. Both these guys genuinely hate each other. You're a coward, coward, and you know it. And you're going to have the most dangerous rampage that's ever been in your face. Did I run? Very prideful man from the tough streets of Memphis, Tennessee. And here he is, Clinton. Jackson. It is Jackson who is two inches taller. It is Evans who will have a two inch reach advantage. It's time! Rampage! We're going to have a clean fight. Touch it up. Let's make it official. Back to the game. Non title fight. Oh! Stop. Here we go again. Stop that one. Sprawl there, though. And he's swinging. And here's the right hand. Bam. And here's the takedown. So this round we know is rhythm now. I want you to work that one. If you faint that one, that three is there. Rampage throwing a lot more feints in this round, Mike. Notice that? Looking for that uppercut. Rashad trying to catch him on the exit. Really assuming more of a wrestling posture. Yep, for sure. And then he comes out, it explodes. Look at this. Stop. That's the game plan, Joe. To wear Rampage out. So what does Rampage do, Joe? And he landed an uppercut there as well. I mean, I don't know. Another round for Rashad. I need you to knock him out, okay? So you need to start setting your hands up. Don't let all, all his dancing around get in your head. And, you know, as you saw from his strength and conditioning program, he's concentrated very hard on his explosive energy. He's almost run into her a, a couple of times. Oh, oh, oh. Rampage looking to finish! Rampage looking to finish Rashad! Rashad is not in a place where he wants to be right now. He's got to figure out how to get on top. He's, he's up. up. Rashad is hurt. Oh, he's still wobbly, Joe. And he turns got the corner and he gets him down. Here he comes. Rampage back up. It is over. He caught him with that. Lunging in left hook. I did 100% to my ability. There's never a loser that walk out of this octagon. Look forward to seeing you again. Quentin 